Quinnipiac in the midnight blue uniforms with the white and gold trim and the higher seed St. Francis in the white with the black and red trim and we are underway. There she goes. A lot more running space in this one. There's a deflection grabbed by Fearer and knocked down. Strassner. Di Carvalho leaves for Flick. And the bouncing shot is grabbed well in front of the eight. Off to Tracy Flick. Flick centers. Here's a shot, and it's just oh. wide. Here's Village. She has a three on two. Over to Strassner. Strassner shoots as time runs out in the first half, and a good save made by Lauren Fear right near the post. That was tremendous. Looks like Hallie Dunyon will take the corner, a senior from Long Beach, California. Third in the NEC with ten goals. Whoa, look out. Loose ball in front. Di Carvalho toward the corner. Oh, goal! Oh, goal, St. Francis! Goal. That's a goal. Barbara Maros Di Carvalho. Now here we have Village actually taking this free kick. Maybe she's the uh, most accurate. Sends it in. There's a rebound, and that is yes, in! Yes, there we go. Go for yep. Quinnipiac. 31 and a half minutes left in the match. Village heads it. Del Mistro again. Here's her shot. Goal! It's a goal. Her second. Two to one Quinnipiac. Christina Del Mistro had only two goals all season coming in, and she has two here in the second half alone. Quinnipiac on top. Two to one over St. Francis. Inside 16 minutes to go in the game. Oh, wide open. Two players. Chance for St. Francis. Here's the center. There it is. Yes! It goes! It's good, and we're tied at two. That should just about do it for regulation. Five seconds left. That's it. Tied at two as we head to overtime. Ten seconds left, and that should just about do it. Five, four, three, two, one. The end of the second overtime. Still tied at two. Uh, here we go. It's going to kick some of the spot or PKs. Uh, both teams dragging themselves off the field. Now back kiting. Kiting. Shoot. Save. A save by Fuhrer. And McNiff puts it in. Three to one. Megan McLaughlin, the senior, the captain of this team, two goals on the year out of Rocky Hill, Connecticut. She has to score to keep it going for Quinnipiac. And McLaughlin, no! And it's over! That's it. St. Francis is going to the final! And they mobbed their keeper, Lauren Fearer. Big save. Standing by with the victors, the Red Flash. They've made it to the NEC final for the first time and uh, being joined now by our Snyder's Pretzels player of the game. And it's Lauren Fear, and uh, what a job there, saving three of four shots that you faced uh, in that penalty kick session after overtime. Uh, take us through that a little bit, and, and how were you able to do it? Well, um, before, you know, we go out there, I'm like... Oh. Got a few words of advice from my keeper coach and my coach Brenda. They're like, hey, you know, you got nothing to lose right now. Just make yourself big, mess with their minds, and that's what I did. So guess, guess right sometimes you don't, and today I guessed right. So <laughs> happy about that. <laughs> Take us through uh, the early part of the game as well, Lauren. Uh, kind of a seesaw game. You know, you guys take the lead, then they come back and they take the lead. Uh, Del Mistro is tough because she can, she can kick with both feet, uh, beat you with the left foot that one time from out front. Uh -huh. um, you know, we knew it was going to be a really tough game. We always say we beat them earlier in the season, and it's tough to beat a team twice, tough to beat a good team twice. So we're a team that never gives up. We came back or once earlier in the season to clinch our spot in the playoffs. So 
we're a tough team to beat, and, you know, they drew the short straw today. So. <laughs> Seven straight wins. Tremendous job today. Stay here with me. And, Coach, um, talk to me a little bit about just the resilient nature of your team. You know, I mean, you, you go up, and then you fall behind, then you tie it, and it seemed like everybody had tired legs there in the overtimes, but uh, you managed to persevere. Yeah, th this team just knows how to fight, and uh, we try to play nice soccer, good soccer, uh, combined with uh, fighting, and, and they did that today, and you can see that, so I'm very proud that they pushed through it and even kept on playing and playing and playing, so that was good. It, wa it was a physical game, and uh, but it was also a skillful game, as Barbara, I think, dominated at times in the first half. She had the goal, and then... Uh, she was also like a distributor for you up front. Correct, and, and that's, that's what we train, that's what we coach. You want to play soccer, and you want to continue playing nice soccer, and that's what we try to do with Barb, with Tessa, with Haley, with Tracy, with everybody. And it starts in the back, moving the ball around and trying to connect. And we've been training on that, training on that the whole year, and finally it comes through today, so it's beautiful. The program hasn't been to this tournament in five years, and now you make it, and you make it into the final. What are your emotions right now? Uh, I'm, I'm very happy. I'm very proud of this team. Uh, now we just have to push through, and I know these kids can do it. So, uh, You just beat LIU about a week ago, a one to nothing. Uh, what is that matchup like stylistically? What can we look forward to on Sunday? That's two good teams in the final. It's going to be a great game. Uh, Long Island, tough, tough, tough team. Uh, but, you know, we're a tough team as well, and you can see that today. So it's going to be two good, good teams in the final, and, uh, you know, may the best team win. Okay, Coach, congratulations, and we'll see you then. Thank you very much. Okay, that's the NEC Coach of the Year, Brenda Von Stralen, and uh, Lauren Fuhrer joining us, our player of the game. Uh, a gritty victory today. They win it in penalty kicks, Jim. 3-1 uh, to one in the PK session. Back to you. Okay.